Hi, I'm Kata Gruneberg, CPA and Master's of Accountancy graduate of the University of Wisconsin-Madison. I'd like to welcome you to the SBDC Entrepreneurial How-To Video Series. Today, I'm going to give you an overview on how to create projections for a new business and for future growth of an existing business. A business plan is a document that describes what your business will sell and a plan for operations. A critical section of a business plan is the financial projections or pro forma. They are future looking numbers that correspond with the anticipated plan for your business. Projections include forecasts of your future revenue and expenses, and they help you understand if your business is financially viable. If you need to acquire a bank loan, lenders will want to see financial projections along with the business plan. Projection documents required are a profit and loss statement for at least the first three years of the business with the first year illustrated by month. Additionally, a bank will often request a projected balance sheet and cash flow statement for the first three years of operations. Existing businesses that are seeking new funding typically share three years of projections with the bank. These businesses also will submit historical financial statements to help support their projections and the loan request. In order to develop projections, you will have to determine what products and services you will be selling and the price that you will charge your customers. You will also need to estimate the number of sales per month. This will take some research. The Small Business Development Center can help you with accessing industry data and other market research that is helpful in determining your market size. If you are an existing business, you can reference historical sales and market trends to project future sales. It may also be helpful to speak with industry experts or trade associations to be sure that your revenue projections are in line with industry trends. The next step is to research your expenses. Expenses may include payroll, utilities, rent, inventory, supplies, and other costs required to operate your business. The projections will be more meaningful if you seek bids from vendors or obtain actual costs. Industry research may also be helpful in determining anticipated expenses. In addition to the projections, you will need to create a source and use of funds statement. This form shows where the funding of your business will come from and how you will spend it. For example, you need $10,000 to start a photography studio. On your source and use of funds statement, you will list that you plan to use $5,000 on two cameras, $2,000 on lighting, and $3,000 to build out the space. The sources of funds may be an owner contribution in addition to a bank loan. Accurate projections help you understand the risk in starting a business. It's important to be realistic about your early sales and growth potential. Without realistic projections, your business could be underfunded or even fail. These projections will help you stay on track and can be used as short-term goals. Now that you know more about the process of creating projections and how they are used, check out the rest of the SBDC Entrepreneurial How-To video series to help you build your business.